Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today's video, if you like duffel bags, this video is for you. You see me using duffel bags quite a bit in my Weekenderlander series. I get questions asked about them. How do I like them? What is that bag? That's the main question. What is that bag? And I usually link to it. So I'll link to these bags in the video description below like I always do. I also have coupon codes with a bunch of sites. LLOD.US slash coupons. So if you're ever curious or trying to save some money, check that site out. So the two main duffel bags I'm going to be talking about uh, is the Vertex Contingency. This is the smaller one. They have a bigger one I don't use much. I'm going to be talking about a couple other bags. And then this one, this big, huge, giant Ortlieb waterproof bag. So that's what this video is going to be about. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. All right, duffels, I like duffels. This is a random one that I just have here. We'll knock out a couple random ones first. This is a cheap one I got on Amazon. I use it from time to time. You've probably never seen it though. This is a duffel that collapses down to pretty much nothing, you know? It's not a nice duffel. It's not gonna last very long. It's not a hard to use duffel, nothing fancy about it. But I throw stuff in it sometimes. The reason I like duffels is because they're pretty efficient use of space. But unlike a traditional hard-sided case, you can kind of shove these things in and squeeze them into the back of the truck or squeeze them into the passenger seat or whatever. So that's what I like about duffel bags. Uh, I like bright colors sometimes because then I don't leave it behind or forget it because it, it's, it sh stands out as orange and I kind of have a thing for orange. This is just a random duffel bag to get us started in the duffel game. So this is another big old duffel. This is an Ortlieb. It's called a big zip. I believe it's 120 liters. I'm not gonna talk about it for too long because it doesn't really have a whole lot of features. It's giant, it's waterproof, and it has a waterproof zipper. I like this duffel because I like using a zipper rather than the waterproof roll top bags that a lot of these big bags, big waterproof bags are. I don't know anything about the company. This bag like isn't even in stock all the time. I'm not even sure if it's still made. I think it probably is. I'll link to it below. But this is the bag I get asked about more than anything, because it's the bag that I sometimes throw on my roof, um, it's on the ground. What I use it for typically is bedding, pillows, things like that, because it is waterproof. So it keeps it dust free and water free. So when I throw it on my roof and strap it down or throw it in the back of my truck or whatever, I don't have to worry about my, my bedding and my pillows getting dirty. So that's the primary use case for me for this bag. But yeah, it's an Ortlieb Big Zip I'll link to it down below. I don't know if it'll be in stock or not, but it comes in orange, which obviously I like because I've been talking about that, but it also comes in black, maybe some other colors. The zipper on these waterproof zippers is not that easy to manipulate, but it works. And all this bag is is one big compartment. No little pockets or anything like that. And it does have backpack straps, which are nice for how big it is. So that's the big orange one. Everyone always asks me about it. It's an Ortlieb Big Zip. I think they primarily make like waterproof bags for bikes and stuff. I reached out to them. I never got a reply. I don't know anything about the company, like I said. But I just, you know, I bought this bag full retail and use it pretty regularly, pretty much every time I go out. So yeah, it's been holding up pretty well. So this duffel is unlike the first duffel. This is a Vertex contingency duffel. This is the 45 liter. This is my main jam. This goes with me on my travels uh, and pretty much on all my little weekend getaway trips. My main jam. There is a bigger contingency duffel. This is the 85 liter. I don't use a duffel this big that often other than that one I just showed, but if you need a big duffel, pretty much has the same features as the smaller one that I'm gonna get into right now. So the Vertex Contingency Duffel. Vertex did give me a code, they give me a coupon code to save you guys big time money on their site. So code LLOD saves 25% off of 
everything at vertex.com, including this in their pants. Delta Stretch 2.0s are out. People have been asking. They fixed everything that I wanted them to fix from the 1.0s, new mag pocket, they removed the leather so now more clips can fit on the little pocket. Ooh, they're good. Anyway, code saves on them. I'll probably do a review of them. They're a perfect pant. So the contingency duffel. This comes in two colors, this gray color and then kind of more of a bluish color. And it has a bunch of stuff. I'm just showing you in my configuration right now. But up top here, we have a strap. These are backpack style straps with, you know, all the stuff that you would expect. Has a little grip here. So when combined with two, this Velcros, you've probably seen this feature, Velcros around the other strap, connects them into a handle basically. I like that the straps are quick release with these buckle guys so you don't have to feed a bunch of stuff through holes so you can just clip them right in and it's good to go. I kind of do this weird thing where I only use one duffel bag strap and then I clip it across ways like this. So from this corner to this corner and just use it kind of as a little shoulder strap. That's what I do. It's, you know, do whatever you want with the straps. They're configurable. And then it has little grab handles on the end here. So when it's on the seat, you can just kind of grab it and pull it right on over. It's got some leather over here. Uh, the bigger duffel has basically two end pockets. So it has a pocket over here. This one only has the pocket on this side. So we'll get into that real quick. The bag does feature stuff like the Vertex backpacks that I love. A lot of Velcro, it's now it's US made, actual Velcro brand Velcro and all of this stuff, YKK zippers, all the high quality stuff you'd expect from a high quality bag. So you can use stuff here, you can use anything that Velcros, Velcro pouches, Velcro mag pouches. I sell a Velcro holster called the Stage 5 Clinger. You can find that on my websites for Glocks. You can put a Glock holster in there if you want. There's also this super secret pocket on the end here. So this is a full length pocket, goes the full length of the bag, and you can stuff whatever you want in here. You can stuff a tripod in here. I stuff my Honey Badger, uh, so it's about 20 inches inches deep. So any item that's about this tall and about 20 inches deep will kind of fit in here hidden like that. Uh, but also, you know, you can just put whatever you want in this pocket. I have this thing pretty empty right now. I kind of load it out well, for different stuff if I'm going flying or if I'm going on a an off-road trip or if I'm gonna pack camera gear or whatever in here. A lot of times my drone goes in here, my camera goes in here, my clothes go in here, and my toiletries go in here. And it's kind of like everything that I need that isn't in my camping bin gets put in here. It's nice because all of these little sides have like a little bit of padding to them. So I can feel a little bit more confident putting kind of sensitive camera gear and drones in here and knowing that it has a little bit of protection also, it's semi-rigid, which I like in a duffel because a lot of times I'm just living out of this bag. So I'll open it up, you know, close in and out. It kind of gets messy and whatever. But when the duffel bag just kind of collapses and doesn't have any shape, then it's kind of hard to live out of it. So this kind of has the advantages of a duffel where you can kind of cram it into places, but kind of has the advantages of a box where it's somewhat maintains its shape. So inside here, I have some puffy pants. <laughs> These are a must for cold weather, not a must. They have some cheaper ones. I got peer pressured into buying these things. They are expensive and a rip off. They're Patagonia nano puffs or something, but really nice pants if you're out in cold weather, a lot. But let's get those out of here. I have some socks in here. I have a beanie in here. These are for sale on my website again now, llod.us if you want an llod beanie. So the interior is pretty big and open as you'd expect. What's nice here is it has this divider in the back. So I oftentimes will put like my dirty clothes kind of in this back divider thing. Um, and then all my clean clothes or whatever are in here. So a nice little big area of separation. And then on the front part here, we have two nice big zippered pockets. So this is where I'll put some toiletries sometimes. I think I got some wipes. Yeah, I got some I got some dude wipes in here. So I usually keep some biodegradable wipes or something. So I always have those when I'm out camping because sometimes you got to do business. In here looks like I got a little deodorant. So anyways, a lot of organization you're seeing in this bag, which is one thing I really really like. One more big zippered pocket. 
on the end inside here. And this back panel again is Velcro line, so you can stick patches or whatever you want in there. One neat feature that's kind of common of the Vertex bags is it'll open to here by default, um, and then there's these buttons that you can snap. So I'll unsnap them now. And what these buttons do are basically make this duffel work like a standard duffel. But if you want an extra feature from this bag, it folds all the way down like this. So then we have this separator that I use to kind of separate my clothes. And this will keep all of the stuff in the bag if you want to fold this open. So basically what this gives you is now a new bigger workspace and this is padded a little bit so you can use this as a gun cleaning mat if you want to use it as a range bag or just kind of a, a nice workspace if you want to like work on like camera gear or do whatever you want maybe you want to put your laptop on this i don't know it's a neat feature i don't utilize it all that much personally but it's just a cool thing to add to a bag that gives you this cool little workspace wall all your stuff can still stay in the bag there. So really nice stuff. I mean, Vertex bags, the designers over there, mad props to them because they make a really functional, feature-filled bag. Uh, as with a lot of other Vertex products, we got this pull tab here because this bag is geared towards uh, the tactical kind of gun guy. It looks just kind of like a normal, you know, some duffel bag that some guy in the tech industry might have, but it's packed with kind of, I don't always like using this word, but some tactical features. So anyways, this is a big grab handle so you can get quick access to open the zipper pouch and get into the main compartment, do anything you need to do. The last thing we're gonna talk about here is the front. So it's got a little ID badge holder kind of thing right here, and then some Velcro that you can put your morale patches, LLOD patch, you for sure need that if you don't have it already. And then this little like admin type area. So the admin area here is kind of like you would see in an EDC backpack, really nice. Obviously this whole pocket, you can do whatever you want with. But then in here we got some like little, little pockets here with little key, hook, doohickey, leash, and we got some like pen, pen type pockets, and then we got another zippered organizer pocket over here. So anyways, we have a ton of room for activities, a ton of organization. I'll go ahead and let your imagination flow to how you could load this bag out for different use cases. But yeah, it's my main jam. I've been asked about it quite a bit. Kind of has a abrasion resistant bottom down here and the bottom is a little more rigid even than the side. So it kind of maintains its shape very nicely. Then one duffel that I used to use and I'm only throwing it in here because you've probably seen it in some older videos of mine. I use this duffel before the contingency came out. And this duffel, I never loved it. Uh, it's the North Face Base Camp Duffel. It's a very popular duffel. It's, it's a durable duffel bag. And it has some of the features like the contingency. It has some of the features I liked that the contingency just does better. It has this strap, backpack strap, that I use the same way. I kind of do it over the side, but it's not quick removable, so you gotta like, you know, hook these things in there and do that stuff. It has not nearly as many pockets, but it does have the two handles on the end that I like about the Vertex bag as well. Uh, this is obviously an OD green, so it's a cool color. They come in a ton of different colors. And the opening is similar. I like that about this bag and the Vertex, that it opens like this. So that way when you're living out of your bag, it's basically like you're opening the lid of a box and you have really nice access to all of the stuff inside. I like that feature. What I don't like is this just doesn't have enough organization in it. It doesn't have enough separation of pockets. It's basically one big pocket. You get a little pocket up here that's kind of worthless because it's in the lid. And then you got a tiny little pocket on the end, which also isn't that great. The other thing I don't like about it is it doesn't really doesn't really have a, it doesn't have any padding and it doesn't have any like rigidity. So it just kind of crushes down and the zipper is kind of harder to operate. 
but it is made out of this material that's kind of, it's not a waterproof bag because the water, the zippers aren't waterproof. So it's not a waterproof bag, but it does shed water. So it's not like the waterproof duffel that I showed earlier, but it is kind of just, the material is a little bit water resistant. So if you're looking for a less featureful bag, still pretty expensive. This is a pretty expensive duffel bag. Um, this is an option. I've used it. Um, but I never use it anymore. There's actually a jacket in here that I was looking for because this has just been on my shelf and I haven't used it in like six months or something uh, because it has, basically the Vertex duffel has features that I just like more than this. But I wanted to throw it in because you've seen it on my channel probably in the past and people are gonna be like, hey, what about the North Face duffel that you used to use? This is it, I still have it. I still think it's a pretty good duffel, just, you know, doesn't doesn't fit my needs as well. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. I'm looking over here. Do you do you ever wonder how knots are developed? This is like my mic cable. It just sits in a drawer. I get it out. I plug it in, and somehow, somewhere along the line, a crazy, crazy knot develops. So I was too lazy to even get it out. Random but that's what this channel is. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, get subscribed to the channel if you're not already. Comment down below with questions because I love questions. It dictates a lot of the videos that get put on this channel. Speaking of which, I have so many good videos filmed and mostly filmed and partially filmed that I just need to edit and put together when I quit being lazy. Actually, I've just been super busy. Winter is coming up. I have all these house projects I've been trying to knock out before the snow and cold settle in. But I'll hopefully have more time in the future, right? Uh, I have a Weekender Lander trip that I went to Telluride and Ure with uh, Photo Runner and Ash and my buddy Philip. So that's coming up. Did some long range shooting with Mike Glover from Fieldcraft Survival. I got, I got all kinds of videos filmed. I ate Mountain House for a week. That was like two months ago. And I just need to put that video together. So a lot of fun stuff coming up. As always, links, clicking, clicking the links, using the links in the video description really help out the channel. Um, so I always appreciate that. I think that's gonna do it for me, guys. Until next time, take care.